Hi guys. Paul here from PA Brew News, and uh, today's uh, the day of the full moon after the, the spring equinox, and that's as far as I can, as far as I know, it's Ostera, uh, the, the the pagan celebration of the spring. And, and I just wanted to wish everybody around the world a very happy and prosperous spring, and I hope everybody's doing well. Um, don't know how loud that music is. Hopefully, it's not too loud and ruining the review. But uh, just thought I'd just play something down here instead of trying to overlay it. Um, it's my band, you know, uh, Forest of Old, so if it sucks, sorry. <laughs> but right now we have a German double walk by the uh, by the um, brewery Wachenstefan. And this is the uh, Dunkle Stachia. And it comes in at 7.4%. Um, and Weisstefan, uh, Weissling, uh, Germany. Weissling, Germany. So there it is. I've been really anxious to listen, uh, to drink this one. I've got metal on my head right now, so sorry. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is the Kolbenan. And that's the name of their double bar. Hold on for just a second, guys. I'll just let the camera roll. I'm back. Just thought that might be a little bit too loud. But that's okay. Really nice, classy cap. That's really cool. Okay, we got a little bit of bubble action going on. This is mildly bottle condition, I do believe. Got my uh, Zalan glass. There we go. A little bit left in there. Nice and dark. Mm. Lovely ruby colors when you hit it to the light. Huge amounts of malt. Raisins. Lovely caramel flavors. Very malty. Mm. A little bit of an earth tone too. Cheers. lovely twinge. I don't know what makes that twinge from the box, but um, really lovely, malty, multi-cellared ale. Mm. Lots of malt going on in this lager. There's a medium mouthfeel. Just tons of that an earth tone, slight peppery, huge caramel malts going on in this. 7.4%, definitely a warmer. Get a little bit of head on it. That's a lot of head. Look at that. Yeah, rock and roll. Let's just make a little bit more mess. That's more mess than I thought I was going to make, but. That's how things work sometimes. That was an amazing amount. With the thickness and caramel consistency, I didn't expect it to blow up like that. But, you know, there's no outtake in mine. It's all one outtake. Excuse me. We got three minutes left to go. That's not a big deal. Let's put some cows down. Some of that beer. I'm really making a mockery of Ostera, so sorry about that, guys. But here we go. Cheers.
excuse me, really malty, very easy to drink, sessionable, you don't taste the alcohol content at all, not in this big boy, um, I just went through the whole thing pretty quickly, it's a little heavy, a little heavy, so I wouldn't recommend drinking it as fast as I did, had it about 50, 55 degrees I believe, and uh, this is pretty sure I'd like to give you a date. Um, also, just vanheimstefana.de is their um, website. I was hoping to give you a date, but I'm not seeing a date on this. So, if anybody knows the date they they started brewing, that'd be really cool. Wait, wait, wait. 1,040. That's awesome. I love these really historic breweries, man. That's, that's great. If you can get it that old as a, as a clap, as an actually established brewery, that's amazing. It's really good. They do a quality ale. This is 9. This is a 9 out of 10. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Wishing everybody just a great spring. Have a great time, and we'll see you later for more PA Brew News reviews. Cheers.